how we can transfer data from excel to text file using vba programming so here i have some data from row number one to row number 12 and i have a command button here once i click on this command button it will transfer this data into a new text file and save that text file at same location where i have this excel file so let me show you where i have saved this excel file so I have saved on my desktop. We can see here. Now let me click on this command button. So I am getting message saying data is transferred to text file. So let me click on OK. Let me minimize this window and check on desktop. So I have a new text file or notepad saved with the name as new file so let me open this notepad data is transferred from excel so let me go to excel file and let me show you what is the vba code that i have used here so i'll go to developer tab click on design mode and then i'll double click on this command button so this is the vba code that I have used here. So let me delete this code and write it again and explain what each line of code is working or doing. So let me start. I'll write dim file name as a string. I am declaring one string variable and dim line text as string and then the my range my underscore range as range so i have declared two string type variables and one range type variable next line is file name equal to this workbook dot path space ampersand sign or sign of and inverted comma slash new file so here you can give any name i am giving new file ampersand sign inverted comma extension for text file or notepad is dot txt then i'll open notepad so for that open file name for output as hash one this will open notepad now i'll assign the data in my range so let's check how much data we have we have data from row number one to twelve but in terms of range we can say from a1 to e12 so this is the range of data so here i'll write set my underscore range equal to worksheets within worksheets i need to give name of sheet here in this example it is sheet 1 sheet one is name of this sheet where i have data dot range within brackets a1 to e12 now to cover this range i have two things row and column row from first to 12 and column from 1 to 5 so I'm going to use two loops, one for row and one for column for i equal to 1 to 12. This is for row. Next i. Within this loop for column I will write for j equal to 1 to 5. Next j and within j loop i will write here line text equal to i if 
i if we use for logical testing within brackets j equal to 1 comma and then a space inverted comma then line text space ampersand sign within inverted comma i'll give here one comma this will work for separator ampersand sign my underscore range dot cells and here instead of passing static row and column number i'll pass looping variables for row i for column j and after closing a statement of second loop i write here print space h1 that means print on notepad what line text so this statement should go actually here before because we are reading each line here let me delete some space here okay so after next try i will close here notepad close number or hash one so hopefully this code should work to transfer data and then here i want to show message message box whatever message you want data transfer is completed so this is what we need in terms of EVA code to transfer data from excel to notepad so let me minimize this window from desktop i am deleting this file otherwise what will happen it will overwrite this file let me click on design mode so that we are out of design mode now i'll click on this command button i am getting message data transfer is completed so let me show the code again let me remove some spaces so i'm hoping this VBA tutorial is helpful you can practice this code and you can utilize this code for transferring any kind of data I mean to say any uh, data in any range from excel to text file it is just that you need to modify range and location of file if you want you can change here and with some modifications you can use this code Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to my channel for more VBA tutorials. If you have any question around this topic, you can write into comments or send me email. Thank you.